Hi everybody, it is January 27, 2018. I just got this message and it was a private message so I blacked out the name. Hi Carol, I doubt you'll get this message because the last several months I am hardly getting any responses back anymore. Well, that has been my experience for the last several months, especially with private messaging. Virtually every message that I get I respond, I get no response back. I don't know what is happening. Emails, Gmail, ever since Kafka Winston World went down and I got locked out of uh, Google products, locked out of my Gmail, and then got back in. I've been locked out a couple of times. I got locked out of Facebook. Can't get into my Facebook um, page, but Gmail. I was on the phone with a subscriber in North Carolina and on the phone she tried to send me three times an email and it never came through. I've asked several subscribers, are you getting my emails? And one said they got my recent one but they didn't get the one before that. I reconnected to two subscribers that have been subscribers for a long time. They sent me a, a product I emailed them three times about this product and I have not gotten any responses back. I leave responses to comments and I don't get any response. Sometimes I'll go to the video where I've left the response and I can't see the response. Okay, cyber communication is crashing. It's so disjointed, disrupted, and it's causing an awful lot of tension. I'm still getting comments from people who claim that I'm deleting uh, their comments. Well, the comment that they thought that I deleted, I did not delete. And I have to wonder, have they just arrived in social media and they don't know all of the tactics that Google, YouTube, Facebook, that they use to disrupt communication, the flow of it, do they not know that they have people who are paid to cause an awful lot of tension here? You know, when YouTube got rid of friend and replaced it with contact, I could see exactly what they were doing. They, those two words, contact and friend, very different. Friend, friend implies um, that you have a friendship and friendship, well, if you take it seriously, that means that you have a responsibility to one another. You have an obligation to one another. Contact? What does contact mean? Nothing. You don't have a responsibility to a contact. You can have contacts that you don't know. You, you have no obligation. It's more like a cold business term. But friend that connotes that you have a bond. Now, in the cyber world, it's, you know, uh, uh, seemingly different. And I will tell you, I, in the cyber world, I, I've never adjusted to it. I wish that we could go back to the days when we didn't even have answering machines. My God, you called somebody and it rang, and if they didn't pick up, they weren't home. Then you called them again. You didn't get angry at somebody because they didn't call you back. You didn't get angry at somebody because they didn't immediately reply. I get people angry because I don't text. I don't tweet. Um, this, this is just not a world that I will ever feel comfortable in. Um, but what it really has shown me is it is a world where well, I think people who post videos that for some, it, it, they're like a Rorschach test that they can just spit out anything that they want about someone, leave a comment, so degrading, uh, kind of ripping them apart. and But they'll actually write things about them personally and they don't even know the person. They've made up all of these presumptions in their head. They've conjured up 
facts that they think are facts and then they spit them out and hit send and then they're right there publicly for all to see people get influenced by it and it's an utter lie it's fascinating because when I read comments like that like um, oh god I got comments from uh, let me see if I can find them oh this woman yeah this was about me this woman has just outed herself as a Jesuit operative paid traitor satellites do not exist and cannot because space does not exist she mentions God every now and then but believes in space and satellites she is a shill bought and paid for do any of you know her personally no really well there's a lot of subscribers that know me um, and some actually know me in real life now I'm a Jesuit operative well for those of you who have met me and have taken me in because I went homeless do you think I'm a Jesuit operative uh, this same guy thought that I'm a, an Italian an Italian Jesuit operative because on occasion I say ciao at the end of my video but this is this guy is just a an example of a whole lot of people and I read this and I think these are these are the awake people we're not gonna get anywhere nowhere they don't even have the awareness of the presumptions that they conjure up in their head they're not aware of these facts that are not facts so they they lack an awareness you know it's like um, people leaving comments about Deborah Travaris it's interesting I've posted a couple of Deborah Travaris videos and more and more people are writing that she's a shill huh interesting yeah uh, she's a shill she works for the Clinton administration in the United Nations and she's all for the New World Order and she wants she uh, she's all about the United Nations troops coming here um, she because she never talks about child trafficking <laughs> uh, and another person left a comment another person not this one left a comment Deborah Severus is a shill because she doesn't talk about the crimes of the Clintons and Obama and the Bushes there are so many topics out there uh, Deborah Tavares I see her as a woman who focuses in on the agendas that are being implemented um, and she talks about the Rockefellers she talks about the Rothschilds um, she goes back into history and brings you know documents um, decades and decades ago right into the present and see this is what we are doing right now she's out there trying to educate people trying to wake them up and you get people leaving comments I can't stand this woman she talks too fast and she sounds so desperate and she sounds panicked and she sounds this and she sounds that or uh, because she's not talking about certain topics therefore she's a shill and I get that I'm a shill I'm a I'm a I am um, I'm a paid operative I am because I'm not you know talking about certain subjects like flat earth or oh how dare I believe that there are satellites and there's an awful lot of people who believe we can't have satellites because they weigh a ton and because they say that they're 22,000 miles away and there's not 22,000 miles away because there's a firmament over the flat earth we live in a dome and you know what there's an awful lot of people who don't believe that and there's an awful lot of people who go okay flat earth round earth I don't care and I'm I'm that person okay um, I don't really care I care about what's happening presently and I care about uh, now you know I care about my subscribers who are going down I care about what's happening on the ground whether it's flat or round um, and there's an awful lot of people who believe that if you do not believe in the flat earth then you don't believe in the Bible um, and and therefore if you don't believe in the flat earth well that is the crux of truth and if you don't believe in the flat earth then 
you're not a truther. You, and I, I hate that term, but you're, you're, are you kidding me? I have never seen so much hatred come through on a, well, I'd like to say secular topic, but no, because flat earth, it's about the Bible and the firmament and, all right. Um, why do you have to personally attack people who, who think differently, who have a different viewpoint? I don't get it. You know, there's one thing about saying things about those who are willfully ignorant, choosing ignorance and recognizing that their choice is dangerous because their choice to do nothing and to continue on when they have been uh, informed by somebody of what's going on. Yes, I do get angry at those people because they're making a choice that affects every one of us. But what's going on in this quote-unquote awake crowd? I, I, I literally, I, I'm so shocked still that people are leveling personal attacks because I do believe that there are satellites. Why is it so crazy to think that the satellites are not so heavy and that they're not 22,000 miles away? That they're low orbit satellites? I ask those flat earthers, the video that I posted. Okay. It, well, then what are those red and green flickering lights that you saw in the video? I don't know, but it's not a satellite. Oh, okay. They're balloons. Oh, okay. Um, it's, 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 why can't, why can't there be a satellite and a balloon? All right. Um, but it's, it's simply causing more and more division. So when you make things kind of black and white and simple, all right, let's say we've got this war between good and evil. Um, when you are personally attacking somebody who is supposedly on your side, don't you understand that you are disrupting trust? Don't you understand that you're breaking it down? And without trust, we literally have no foundation to build anything from. Nothing. No foundation. And trust has been completely annihilated. Um, Deborah Tavares is somebody that I really respect. I don't know her. I've never, I've never, you know, corresponded with her. I've never talked to her. But I see a woman who woke up and got very upset about what she saw. She dug her, you know, uh, mind into a tremendous amount of research. And I also see her as someone who is very concerned about her own family, that she is very connected to her family, and she's got grandchildren. And so she is out there trying her hardest to do everything she possibly can do to educate, to inform. And then you have people like this who just want to rip her to shreds and then you go to these people's channels and they have nothing on it. And I have to wonder, you know, are they jealous? Are they trying to tear somebody down because they do nothing? And that's what a lot of low level consciousness people do on that low level. Oh, they won't work to change themselves, to try to raise themselves up. No, they will pull people down. But when you do that, you are absolutely putting yourself on the side of evil. 
and it's all presumption. It's all presumption. I'm deleting comments. I have deleted comments and I'm deleting more and more of these comments when people say that somebody is a shill without backing it up with any facts or evidence. You can have your opinion, fine. You can, you can have your gut instinct about somebody, fine. But when you then write it down and hit send and it becomes public and you write it as a fact, that's not okay because it influences people and then it it people have questions about somebody else's veracity based on your opinion and that only breaks down trust further if you have no facts and evidence then keep your opinion to yourself about other people It's, it's so tiring. And this idea that people should be posting on certain subjects, and if they're not, therefore, they're not legitimate, because I'm not posting on flat earth, and because I happen to believe that there are satellites up there, uh, I'm not legitimate. Wow. Okay. I'm even a Jesuit I'm a Jesuit, um, what was it? I'm a Jesuit operative paid trader because I happen to believe in satellites. I'm an Italian <laughs> Jesuit agent because I say ciao. You know, I just recently got a message on my phone from someone that I, I was astounded. That's it. The, the relationship's dead because I can't go there. But because I'm not posting on Fukushima, when I've posted on Fukushima, um, and I talk a lot about the microwave radiation, and because I, I'm not doing this and that, and forget it. I just... And then when you really lay out, you're doing your best. You are sensitive to the frequencies. You've got health problems. You've lost everything. You've got nothing to work with. And then you get leveled by people who know that. What the hell is that about? So I have to wonder about the mentality here. No wonder why we're getting nowhere. If you think that Fukushima or you think that it's so important to be writing uh, or posting on Obama and Clinton crimes or child trafficking, then you do it. You're like control freaks. And is anybody having a lot of computer problems? Is your internet slow? I keep getting these things. Hate slow internet. These notifications. Where are they coming from? I don't know. Um, the internet has been horribly slow since I posted the video on Windows 7, Windows 8, Microsoft downloading these patches for their security flaws and Microsoft admitting that it will slow down the internet, your internet on your Windows 7 or Windows 8, and it will also cause performance problems. I've had so many performance problems my internet crashing, um, programs on my internet just not working. It is a continual frustration, and I do believe that it is deliberate. I'm talking to other subscribers. They, too, are facing the same thing with their computers. Uh, you're not imagining it. The internet really is slow right now, and this was back in December 2017. And... Here, major internet providers slowing traffic speeds for thousands across U.S. They do it deliberately. I do believe that they are. The problems that we are facing on our computers now are deliberate. And why? Well, the rollout of 5G. Internet's going to be very, very slow. They're going to say, well, we need 5G. And everybody's going to say, thank you, finally. Great. Bring it on. It's, you know, look, 
It is really very, very important for us to work towards establishing trust. And to not do things to break it down further. Your opinions about people are just that. Opinions. So, you leaving them in the comment section? You leaving them publicly for all to read? It's not fair. It's not good. It hurts. Trust. Here. You're leveling personal attacks against people based on a presumption? Just ask the person. Ask. Did you receive my response? Did you get my email? Did you did you delete my comment? Because I can't see it. We all know that so much of this is deliberate. So it would lessen tension if you just ask rather than conjuring up these facts in your own head, writing them down publicly. But let me know, guys, are you having computer problems? Are you facing a lot of performance problems? Is your internet slow? Because it is becoming increasingly frustrating to be on the internet. All right, guys, the Jesuit agent is signing off. Ciao.